What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today guys I just want to inform you on how you can obtain the Izanagi's Burden Exotic Sniper Catalyst. Now this catalyst was added into the game with the Season of Opulence and not many people know much about it. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. So it is an Argus Burden sniper rifle. Damn the quest for this thing. Felt like it took forever. But it's a decent weapon, that's for sure. Definitely one for the collection. So the catalyst, how is it obtained? Well, you actually can't get it quite yet, as it won't be dropped into the game until the heroic menagerie activity is added, and that drops on the 25th of June, which, to be honest, isn't too far away. A couple of weeks, maybe three weeks away. To obtain it, you need to have a fully upgraded chalice in the menagerie heroic activity. So the heroic version of the menagerie, you need to lock into that bad boy with a fully upgraded chalice of opulence. Meaning, no doubt, upon you cashing in them runes within your fully loaded chalice from the chest, there's a chance that this will drop. Now, here's the weird thing. As you can see by this image on screen now, which was sent to me via Matthias on Twitter, we see this was visible within the catalyst section within the collections. Well, guys, it was visible. I saw it there myself, but now it's being removed or hidden. A very strange indeed, that is for sure. It's a bit like many of the people out there already who have completed some of their Tribute Hall Moments of Triumphs, which is also really weird. Now, we know Bungie sometimes mess up in terms of things being added into the game and things being obtained, which weren't supposed to be in the game yet. We've seen it in the past, and I believe the catalyst we see for the Izanagi's Burden is one of those things, hence why it's being removed from sight. What I also know from doing a little bit of research that when you actually obtain the catalyst for this uh, Izanagi's Burden from the Heroic Menagerie, to complete the catalyst then all it seems you have to do is get kills with the Izanagi's Burden. Now the official perk we get I do not know as of yet and with it being an exotic which has such a distinctive trait I don't know what additional feature would fit this gun. If you guys have any ideas, let me know down below within that comment section. But yeah guys, this is how you obtain the Izanagi's Burden Catalyst. It comes from going into the heroic menagerie activity with a fully loaded Chalice of Opulence. Now I did post a video yesterday, if you missed it, just a quick recap which should help you fulfill more of that Chalice of Opulence. The chests upon the barge upon Nessus have respawned. Meaning you can go there, spend that glimmer, 5k per chest, and get more Imperials. Now if you do get enough Imperials, and haven't got power and efficiency too, I truly recommend you purchase this one. Because upon purchasing this, you have a rare chance of getting 500 Imperials from any activity, basically Crucible, Strikes, or Gambit. And also Werner, upon Nessus, on that barge, also sells free weekly buffs you can buy, or boons which when you activate, significantly increases chances of you earning 500 Imperials from a Crucible game, a Gambit match, or a Strike. Now you can normally only buy three of these per week, but it seems as though with the reset of the chest upon this barge, the boons reset too. So if you purchase three of these early on in the week, you should be able to purchase another three. If you open these chests upon the barge early on this week, you should be able to reopen them now. That's if you haven't already. So yeah guys, get them Imperials, fill out that Chalice of Opulence in time for when the Heroic Menagerie drops. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video guys. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.